Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new first look of the Q750 TDI Quattro. So this is the all new Q7 facelift. Massive grille in the front, just like the other rest of the Audi updated lineup. New beautiful LED lights, but still have that shape of familiar from the Q7. Massive grille intake of air, uh, new adaptive radars on the front, and then now have black uh, vertical lines massive uh, alloy wheels uh, Audi Sport even with the caps of Audi massive brakes with red calipers as a contrast this is the 22 inch of course uh, Quattro drive trying to put the whole car into the frame and then we have beautiful Q7 on the back LED lights of course they do that leaving coming home function uh, of course we have a fake exhaust with the wheel pipes below and have a spoiler the, too much hasn't changed this is a still a q7 with an s line badge if we get inside we can see the interior update this is some sort of weird color i would personally never choose but hey uh, that's a matter of taste this part i like this is audi exclusive your standard controls. I'm gonna get inside. And we have a new updated interior. So Audi, two-tone color. New steering wheel, virtual cockpit. Interesting patterns inside. Again, updated with a new MMI touchscreen. On the bottom is the AC. Drive select off-road hazards, rear and front defrost, start-stop engine, and parking six, 360 parking cameras, assists uh, to turn on the MMI. We have here a vents integrated on the top. Nice cloth, deep storage area. And then we have excuse me for the shake, a um, memory seats on both sides. So these are the seats, they look comfortable. Now beautiful Alcantara on the top, uh, panoramic uh, sunroof that extends all the way to the back, speakers on the top, have a shade that's electronically operated, uh, nice bezel-less mirror, standard Audi switches, LED lights, on the top you can open and close the top here and led lights that project to this area so this is your automatic electronic parking brake auto hold i dislike the piano finish because it's gonna scratch a lot of fingerprints 12 volt charger next to the cup holders nice materials even on the bottom um, armrest that does extend has levels wireless charging and connection, NFC, SIM card, SD card, two USB-A chargers. And that's pretty much it. Now I'd love to turn this on, but the car is in a demo mode. So only my screen will turn on. But we have uh, Bang and Alfsen speakers that came out even on the side and the A pillars on the top as well. Uh, we have a good overview. This is a tall car with a large windows. I love this huge mirrors. Car feels powerful. It is powerful. And you can see here, this is with the bottom AC controls and then the top. Uh, this is some sort of dirt demos. And then you have taptic feedbacks here. Um, of course, you have navigation to show you height, the finishing graphics. We're in Frankfurt Auto Show. Of course, uh, it's responsive. When the car is on, it's a lot faster. Uh, this demo mode sometimes uh, do know how to lag. Um, anyways, just to show you in perspective, uh, a lot of room. Uh, you're thinking the seat is way up. Could go a little bit down and then more forward. Uh, but let's see the uh, exterior. And then if I close the MMI, I'm gonna see the bowing and also speakers uh, go down. It's a nice feature there. So, uh, beautiful on the bottom as well. And on the back, tinted windows with an extra shade that's manual. You could 
uh, lower this down. Uh, same premium materials on the back door uh, with a little extra compartments. Uh, large space on the back seat uh, that can uh, fall down as you can see and then you can have uh, even the seventh, uh, the last third row of seats knocked down. Plenty of space. Uh, if I come back and pop the trunk. I'm gonna back up. So a lot of space, as you can see, massive space. Uh, flat bottom here with aluminum protection. Uh, a dampener, a battery. So if you pull the seats up, you have to hold here. can pull this up or pull this to knock it down. You can see, uh, you can imagine uh, the space if both seats were up. But see the, the other seat is blocking it. So here you have some space additional. Uh, I think only a toddler could fit like or small size kids. And then if I lower this down, you can see you have cup holders on the back. Uh, you can put a divider here and then use a cover, which is missing in this model. Also as well, uh, Alcantara, you have speakers that I showed you, uh, second B-pillars, uh, and then you have a towing hook that could extend. Ambient lights over here that look really premium, 12 volt charger. Um, spacious boot, of course, here you have uh, seat belts uh, for the rear. And these are actually double for some reason. And that's pretty much it. Really spacious and powerful car. LED lights on the top, on the both sides. The lights are again still <laughs> with the doors connected. We have Q7. Nice big badges, 50 TDI, fake exhaust, as mentioned. But still, it looks good. It doesn't matter if it has some fakeness into it. And to show you, now you have controls for the rear seats on the back as well. So this is when it's flat, this is when it's up, and then and this seat can, uh, if I push here, you can turn it like this, so you're easier can access. And I'm gonna exit, I mean, enter inside, just for you, whoops. So, uh, impossible to sit here, as <laughs> you can see, even the space is just not, um, you know, uh, not convenient. So I will lower this to exit because it was impossible to get in. I uh, st have stuck my foot. Anyways, you need to pull this down manually to close it and then push this to push the seat all the way and then then you have to push it with your hand to lean it but I can use one hand so plenty of space on the back good closing sound so if you want to push the middle seat you have to unlock it there and do it like that and then again push it and tilt it big space as mentioned, you can lower this, have more light inside. This is the interior. Also, you have a shade on the back as well that you can lower so it's not electronic. This is the beautiful interior. Panel roof, ambient lights on the top, and the pillars, air vents, Bong and Alfsen speakers as well. And then we have AC controls on the bottom and two USB-A chargers. And uh, that'll be it. Petrovsky. Okay. So it's closing hours. I guess they're um, locking the cars and uh, removing brakes or something. Um, but there's too many people, so I use, I stay up late just to, uh, you know, get a chance to film the cars without uh, the extra uh, people around it blocking the view. So uh, apologies to the Audi team. 
Um, anyway, leave your comments below. What do you think? These are the specs, 280 horsepower, uh, automatic, probably eight or seven speed. Um, so eight speed automatic, of course now, 241 kilometer stop speed limited electronically and 6.3 seconds, zero to 100. More information uh, in the video description. Uh, tell me in the comments, what do you think? And I'm going to see you in the next video. Of course, there's more Audi cars in the background that I filmed earlier. So if you want to see those as well, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click that bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. There's going to be a lot more other car brands on the Frankfurt Car Show. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. I'm going to see you in the next one. Stay safe on the road. Bye.